just wondering if it's safe out here alone. I'm not alone. Got Myrtle. That's a dangerous thing, you know, thinking the worst about people, especially in times like these. It's part of a new wave of film productions shooting in the province. The movie's director says a new provincial film production grant is bringing movie making back to Saskatchewan. We couldn't have made the film. Like back when I was making the Wolfcott films, uh, you would kind of top out around the $2 million mark for a film. So, and this is a, a, a more than double that. So um, it would have literally been impossible to make this film here had they not uh, revised the grant system. So I predict it's going to mean great things for our local industry. That industry was devastated when the province cut the film tax credit in 2012. Productions left, and so did the people working behind the scenes. When the tax credit was um, cut back uh, about 12 years ago, we had at that point three full crews. And when I say a full crew, that's typically around 75 to 100 people. Um, of course, because of that, a lot of people had to leave to, you know, to, to continue to work in the industry. In recent years, the provincial government has put taxpayer money back into local productions. Now, some in the industry say Saskatchewan can't find enough people to crew movie sets. The Saskatchewan Media Production Industry Association says some new productions are hiring rookie crews to train alongside veterans. When Creative Saskatchewan and the province came back and reinstilled the production grant program, we ended up kind of having to rebuild. Um, and I think uh, Die Alone was a great example. We had close to 45 or 50 people on this film that were either trainees or mentors of the trainees. It's now about building that grassroots, you know, and attracting people to the province who maybe can't afford to live in Toronto or Vancouver anymore. And I think we're an industry that can attract uh, young people and young families uh, to the province. Meanwhile, Dean says he's committed to making more films here. He's also urging movie fans to give Saskatchewan-made films a chance. Jeremy Warren, CBC News, Saskatoon.